Okay guys, we need to go over some COVID updates, some COVID news. Um, we need to talk about the uh, latest Omicron strains that we are now seeing. They've been sort of ticking up uh, in terms of the number of cases over the last few weeks. We've now actually gotten to the point in the United States where one of these particular strains, o Omicron variants, is now dominant in the United States. Uh, we're talking about BA.4 and BA.5. You're starting to hear more about this in the news because it is something really important. Uh, and that's why I'm talking about it today, just to give you some updates and let you know what's happening, all right? So for those of you who are in the UK, those of you who are in Australia, South Africa, and other places, you are also seeing BA.4 and BA.5 as well. Um, and I know a lot of people are starting to get COVID now. I don't wanna say starting to because actually, I would say in the last couple of months, I've seen certainly an uptick in COVID cases in my office, et cetera. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are watching, please write in the comments if you have COVID now or you've, you've gotten over COVID or, or you're sick now or you have family members that are, a lot of you guys have written to me saying um, that that's the case. You either have COVID, you have family members that have COVID, et cetera. All right, so let's go over the, the latest strains, okay? BA.4 and BA.5 are versions of the Omicron strain. Remember Omicron, we started to see around um, November 2021. Remember that? It was this huge thing. Omicron was very new. We'd had Delta, we'd had other things, but this was Omicron and it was highly infectious. You remember how the initial strain just spread like wildfire. It seemed like around Christmas time, 2021, so many people had um, COVID. Remember, tests were home tests were hard to find. I had people calling my office, coming in. Everyone was desperate for a test uh, for for evaluation for for COVID. Um, and then I would say probably in the what after after January February of 2022, things calmed down a little bit. But then we have started to see an uptick in cases again. What we are now talking about, and I see a lot of you guys writing in, um, seeing your comments about how many of you have had COVID. By the way, anyone who has COVID right now, um, just gonna throw up a prayer for you that you recover, that you get over this okay, um, that you don't have any long haul symptoms and that you do all right, okay? Um, and for those of you who are watching, please wish everyone with COVID well as well. That's what we do here. We want everyone to come out of this okay. All right. So BA.4 and BA.5 is something that we've seen in other countries throughout um, throughout the world. And by the way, thank you guys for the stars. Bonnie, I see you just sent uh, 500 stars. Thank you so much for that. Um, also seeing you guys sending super chats and super stickers on uh, YouTube. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, thank you for the stars, etc. cetera. So uh, and I'll go back and respond to you guys personally, those of you who send these, so I appreciate that. BA.4 and BA.5 are variants of the Omicron strain. They're like, they're like you know, uh, like cousins uh, within that sort of Omicron family. Um, these variants are continuing to pop up. It's one of the reasons why getting vaccinated is so important. But let me tell you about BA.4 and BA.5, which is what's sort of really getting our attention. What made me say, you know what? I haven't done a COVID video in a while, but we gotta talk about this because it's super important. Number one, BA.5 at this point is dominant in the United States. In other words, what we've seen in the last few weeks is that the percentage of cases, the percentage of people who are coming down with COVID when they get tested, the lab um, shows that it's this variant BA.5 or BA.4. So more and more and more people are getting that strain. What is significant about this particular strain? Well, there's a few things. First of all, um, BA.4 and BA.5 are highly infectious. That means they are highly transmissible. And if you're wondering what that means, what that means is that it takes either less of BA.4 or BA.5 uh, virus particles to infect someone, or maybe you have to be around somebody with BA.4 or BA.5 less time than, with a, than you'd have to be around somebody else with a different COVID strain, meaning it takes less for you to become infected with this, okay? Something that's not as transmissible, there is more leeway. You, 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 there's more room for, for error, but something that's highly transmissible, it doesn't take much for you to get it. That's the bottom line. It could be one encounter. It could be just being exposed to a few particles. It could be just being exposed for uh, a short period of time. I can't quantify that because I'm not sure that we even know, but that's what it means for something to be highly infectious or highly transmissible is that it spreads very easily. It's not hard for it to spread. What that means is that we're starting, because it's highly transmissible and it's easier to spread than some of the prior variants, 
that means that we're seeing more cases of COVID. We've got a decent number of cases in many different cities throughout the country. It's why many of you uh, guys have probably gotten COVID. I see many of you have writing uh, writing in um, saying you've got COVID, you're just getting over it, etc. cetera. Um, it, it may be this BA.4 uh, slash BA.5 strain. It also, uh, with these strains, there's also a higher chance of reinfection. Now, let me let me talk a little bit about natural immunity versus vaccine immunity and these new strains. And I'll be honest with you, um, you know, I'm a family doctor. I've been talking about COVID for years, um, but I also talk about other health topics. The thing about it is I've been telling you guys to get vaccinated and boosted, and I still mean that, and I'm going to tell you why. But as you all have seen, getting vaccinated and getting boosted has not necessarily kept us from getting infected with COVID. I'm a prime example. I'm vaccinated and boosted fully. I got COVID a couple of months ago. Many of you have gotten vaccinated and boosted fully. It has not necessarily kept you from getting infected. What the vaccines and the boosting has, has primarily done, not primarily, but a, a, a large part of it has done, has kept us alive if we get COVID and kept us out of the hospital, which by the way, are big deals, okay? So I don't want you to say, what's the big deal in getting the vaccine or boosted? You can get it anyway. Well, unfortunately that's the case. But if you get vaccinated and boosted, you are less likely to die. You are less likely to be hospitalized. That is one of the major benefits. Now, let me now go back to BA.4 and BA.5. Unfortunately, with these two strains of Omicron, our prior vaccination, meaning the antibodies and the protection that we have gotten from being vaccinated and boosted in the past, or the protection we've gotten from having COVID and having natural immunity, is not necessarily keeping BA.4 and BA.5 at bay. In other words, BA.4 and BA.5 are escaping antibody immunity from either you getting the vaccine or having the infection. In other words, BA.4 and BA.5 are like, child, I don't see you. I don't hear you. Uh, you can be, you can have antibodies all you want, but we still here. What up? And people are still getting infected with it. The antibodies we have gotten, the protection we have gotten from the vaccines, the boosters, and even natural immunity from having gotten COVID is not enough to stop BA.4 and BA.5. They're escaping our immunity. They're getting around it. They're still infecting people, people who have gotten vaccinated, people who've been infected and may have some immunity. That is what's tricky. It's evading our immune system. It's evading our protection. That's also what's a little bit scary to me, right? Because we now have a variant that's like, I see you antibodies, but peace out, deuces. And it's like, I'm gonna go around this way. We gonna go the back way. And it still gets in, even though you've been vaccinated and boosted. Now, it still stands that vaccines and boosters are important because they will likely keep you alive and out of the hospital. But vaccines and boosters, and perhaps even natural immunity from having gotten COVID before, is not necessarily enough to keep you from getting BA.4 or BA.5. This is why I'm doing this segment, because we needed to talk about this, and I think this is a little bit of a game changer. And so the combination of BA.4, BA.5 being more highly transmissible, highly infectious, and having the ability to evade the immunity that we have gotten, many of us from being vaccinated or having the, uh, the uh, COVID infection and having immunity, um, that makes this a little bit different. Now, what this means is a couple of things, okay? It's, it's changing me a, a, a bit. There's no reason to be panicked because look, we've been in this for two and a half plus years. We, we've been panicked before. Y'all know panic, I know panic. We're not gonna be panicked. This is just the next phase of COVID that we're in right now. But a couple of things we have to remember and we have to keep in mind. Um, I have not, and I'm being very honest with you all. I have, and you know this because I post a lot about my personal life. I have not been wearing masks consistently, especially when outdoor environments and some indoor environments in the last couple of months. But now I am. Today, I read the data and I was like, Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. Back to masking. And the truth be told, I'll be very honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I probably should have been masking this whole time, every time. Have I? No. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. I was weighing my risk, thinking that I just had COVID in, in March. I got vaccinated, boosted, etc. I've been spending a lot of time in outdoor venues, though not always. Um, and I chose not always to wear my mask. Well, that's changing. We're back to the masks. 
And I advise you go back to masks too if you had not. Went to the grocery store tonight, masks, masks, masks. Because of the two things I told you in particular, BA.4 and BA.5 are the, BA.5 is the predominant strain that we're seeing. It's highly transmissible and they can evade our immunity that we've gotten from either the vaccines or natural immunity. Uh, the other thing is, I'm gonna suggest to you guys, I have a lot of patients I see in the office and they don't want the booster. I, I can't tell you every single day I offer the booster to people who are eligible. And they're like, I'm gonna hold off on that or I'm still thinking about it or I'm not really sure. Guys, you have to get the booster. I don't want you to think about it as, oh, I got the first two, uh, I, did, I did my part, I did enough. That's all I'm gonna do. No, I'm sorry. Think about it as getting the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine when you were a kid, or the Hep B vaccine, which is three vaccines. MMR is two, measles, mumps, and rubella. Tetanus is like five. And uh, then you get Tdaps every 10 years, or TD or Tdap every 10 years. I mean, guys, don't stop. And for those of you who have been like, I don't know, I already did two, I'm gonna stop there. No, this is the wrong time to hang up your hat. If you've not been boosted, get boosted because now there's a higher risk probably than before of you getting COVID because of this BA.4 and BA.5. So at least if you get COVID, because yes, these two can often evade our immunity, at least if you get COVID, you won't die very likely or be hospitalized. And the hope is that you don't get COVID, obviously. Please, guys, stop refusing the booster. I haven't given a COVID vaccine booster in weeks. Everyone I have asked in the office has said no. And sometimes I don't actually have the time within my office visit with them to, ref to rebut. I will ask very quickly, is there some questions you have about it? Is there something I can answer? Many people say, no, no, I'm just not ready or I'm just still thinking about it, whatever. And sometimes I don't have time in my 15 minute office visits with my patients to go through all of this stuff here. It's one of the reasons why I make these videos. Please get the booster, stop waiting. Okay. The next thing is, um, oh, I also wanted to say this. Now you say, um, you may be saying, well, why do we keep seeing variants? And let me just remind you guys of why, why we are seeing variants. Variants are basically different versions. Okay. Different versions of the vaccine, uh, excuse me, different versions of the virus. And the longer that a virus or this virus in particular, I'll just focus on the longer that this virus floats out in the, in the, in the, in the stratosphere, meaning the, the longer it's able to sort of be out and about either because not everyone's vaccinated or not everybody's taking precaution measures, wearing masks or things like that, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, not everybody is staying home when they're sick or testing and blah, blah, blah. The more that the virus is out there, the more chance it actually has to mutate. And remember guys, remember we had Delta? I talked about this in my Dr. Jen Superstars um, live, our private live tonight on Facebook. Um, consider joining our superstars, by the way. It's a, it's a great group. Um, and I also have subscription groups on YouTube as well. But I do private lives on Wednesdays for the superstars on Facebook. And we were literally, I was talking about this. So we had Delta in 2021. And that was kind of scary because people were hospitalized like nobody's business. Then we had Omicron. But see, this is the thing. Who's to say when this will end, okay? Um, it's one of the reasons why we need to get vaccinated and we need to go back to using precautions. I'm going to say myself as well, okay? And be more consistent about it. One of the things that allows variants to be De to develop is being able, then being able to transmit and be out and about. The more viruses out there, the more it can change. How do we stop virus from being out there? Well, we shut it down. We, we, we close the door on it. We get vaccinated and stop it in its tracks or we wear our masks or when we get it, uh, we test ourselves, we find out, we notify our contacts, we isolate, stay home, etc. I hear lots of folks coughing and sneezing lately. And yeah, it could be a cold or it could be BA.4 or BA.5, okay? I'm just saying. And once again, I said this before with Omicron, don't assume that your cough, your sniffles is just allergies. You need to test yourself because, hey, you could, you could have Omicron, you could have it. I'm now seeing patients that have had COVID three times, okay? I don't want that for anyone. So um, please keep in mind that the best way for us to shut these variants down, to minimize them is to get vaccinated, get boosted, wear a mask, you know, do all that good stuff. If we don't do a better job at these things, our variants will continue to be developed. And the, the problem with that is they could become more serious. Right now, we're already talking about BA.4 BA. and BA. Some, B, some scientists are saying BA.4 and BA.5 are like 
um, more transmissible than like, you know, many of the variants we've seen so far. Some people are saying that these are potentially as transmissible as measles, which by the way is like one of the most highly infectious diseases we have. Like it's super contagious. So, you know, this is the thing. We're going to learn more as time goes on. I always caveat, like, say this when I do COVID segments because literally I could say this today and then tomorrow or the next day there could be new news. But I needed to come and talk about this because this is a little bit of a game changer. When you see articles and information on the news about BA.4 and BA.5, I want you to listen. I want you to turn up the TV. I want you to, to listen to the video or read the article so that you can become educated and informed. Get your family members boosted. If you've been putting it off, you need to do it. Oh, and the, and the other thing I want to say is that you know how the FDA is talking about possibly um, rolling out new boosters in the fall. One of the things they're talking about is having um, the boosters be sort of reconfigured to have some protection against BA.4 and BA.5. That sounds great to me, but I'm worried that if that's the case, it's going to be a little too little, a little too late. Like, I mean, we need this now. I'm like, can y'all give me a booster right now for BA.4 and BA.5? Because I want to be protected, okay? Um, by the way, some of you are writing in. You're saying people in your family or people you know have cold, uh, cold symptoms. They've tested negative. Keep testing. Do not do one test and call it a day. Uh, when I had COVID, I had to test how many times did I test? I, I, you know, you guys know I did lives on this. I, I remember the test that I did that came up positive was one I did during the live. And it was like the third or fourth test. And I was like, oh, this is going to be negative. And it came up positive on my live. If you are negative for COVID, you keep testing. And I would advise isolating until you know for sure what it is or what it's not. Or, and that's for the home test. Or go get a PCR test, which is more accurate. If you get COVID, make sure you call your doctor and uh, see if you qualify for Paxlovid, okay? The prescription to help you get over COVID. There's a lot, a lot, lot more to talk about. Um, LaRonda, you said your nephew, who's going to be four tomorrow, said I'm pretty. Oh, that's very, very sweet. LaRonda, tell your uh, nephew that that's like the sweetest thing and, and thank him. It's such a nice thing to say. Oh, my God. I'm like, I'm like oh, <laughs> four-year-old. Bless his little heart. Bless it. Um there's a lot more to talk about and I probably will start doing a few more COVID videos more regularly. I was just, look, I was in La La Land talking about, I ain't talking about no COVID right now. We're going to talk about other stuff. Well, COVID's like, hey, you, you, have you guys seen that uh, Usher meme? And he's like, <laughs> BA4 and BA.5 are like, hey, we back or we here. Um, so this is the guy, uh, this is the thing, guys, be vigilant. I'm back to masking consistently, okay? Doesn't mean I'm not gonna be out and about and do things, I will, but I'm going to be much, much better about masking. I do think it's important, and guys, the qualities that we're seeing so far of BA.4 and BA.5 are different than what we've seen with other things. Um, please share this video with other people. I wanna get the word out. I'll keep updating you as always. Uh, you know I'm Dr. Jen, I love you guys. If you've not liked and followed my page, please do. I do daily updates. Um, on all sorts of stuff, COVID and everything else. Uh, for those of you who send stars, you guys are amazing. I see you all. I'm going to come back right afterwards and respond to you. For those of you who are on my YouTube channel, and by the way, if you're not on my YouTube channel, you should be at Dr. Jen Cottle. If you're on YouTube and you're on Facebook, come to Facebook. To, sometimes there's different content, okay, because they're a little bit different audiences. Um, and also YouTube has my full library of work as well. Um, for those on YouTube sending super chats and super stickers and super thanks, thank you so much. I'll respond personally to you guys too. Um, write your stories below. Let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods. Um, guys, I'll keep you updated, okay? I love y'all. Okay, stay safe. I'll talk to you soon.